It was the Christmas Eve of 1968. While people on Earth were settling down to their dinners, three astronauts were circling around the moon. One of them spotted a striking image in the corner of his window. He scrambled to load his camera and quickly snapped a few shots. It was the Earth rising above the moon's horizon. How many of you have seen this picture before? It came to be known as Earthrise. And it was responsible for inspiring a whole environmental movement in the 70s. It also inspired me towards my career. I was 15 when I saw this picture on the cover of a magazine, and it affirmed my resolve to study physics. But for me, physics has always been more than just another science. I used to wonder if the laws that run the universe might also be able to provide some insights into life. While science cannot answer all of our questions, it has opened our minds to new ways of looking at the world. And these perspectives are not always uplifting. Copernicus showed us that the Earth is just another planet in the solar system. Darwin pointed out, we are just a slightly smarter version of apes. And the latest space photos of our planet make us feel like insignificant creatures marooned on some tiny rock, drifting aimlessly in a vast cosmos. But a new perspective has emerged in the last few decades that is both uplifting and inspirational. We now know <clears throat> that our universe started from a tiny seed and unfolded gradually, creating a little more order at every stage. It is not our size, but our complexity that matters. As far as we know, we are the crowning achievement of a 14 billion year journey and perhaps the only path through which the cosmos can evolve further. Let me tell you a very quick summary, a really quick summary of um, our creation story. In the beginning, there was a tiny seed. Then with the Big Bang, the seed exploded into clouds of gas. From the collapse of these clouds, brilliant shining stars were born. The stars came together in clusters, and the clusters merged to create giant galaxies. Every star leaves behind a little dust when it explodes into a supernova. From that stardust, planets were formed. And on at least one such planet, life emerged and evolved into beings like you and me, with enough self-awareness to wonder where they came from. It is the presence of cosmic forces that helps the universe continue to create order out of chaos. Gravity brought together stars and galaxies. Natural selection enabled the creation of new life forms. There are forces at play now that are trying to pull our whole species together. These are the yearnings in our hearts for greater connectedness and deeper harmony. I believe that the next stage of cosmic development will bring together all of humanity 
into a single, harmoniously functioning, earth-wide community. And the chaos that we see in the world today might just be the starting point for this next level of self-organization. But there is one problem. Unlike the previous creations, we humans have minds of our own. We can align with the cosmic forces that are pulling us together and turn our diversity into a dazzling mosaic. But we are also capable of letting our greed and narrow-mindedness tear our species apart. Each one of us will need to take responsibility to steer the cosmos in the right direction. And to stay on that path, we will need to put our faith in the power of the universe to keep creating order out of chaos. What makes this effort so promising is that this faith comes from a creation story that is accepted across all races, religions, and nationalities. It was in this spirit that I helped start a youth program six years ago called Mosaic. It stands for mobilizing our students for action to build interfaith community. The program brings together high school youth from many different faiths and helps them build lasting friendships while they share their beliefs with each other. When I see a hundred teenagers <clears throat> coming together to pack meals for the hungry, it fills my heart with hope for the future. But one mosaic will not shift the balance. What we need is a collective awakening, like the one that followed Earth's rise, when a whole nation woke up to the urgency of protecting our planet. This new creation story that I told you must be shared as widely as possible, but just knowing it will not be enough. To motivate ourselves to build this earth community, we will need to feel in our hearts the glory and magnificence of cosmic creation. Brian Swim, a visionary cosmologist, said, the universe is not simply a place, but a story a story in which we are immersed, to which we belong, and out of which we arose. If you want to feel the power of cosmic forces, look at two gigantic galaxies, each with a trillion stars, merging together to become one. And if you want to renew your faith in cosmic creativity, look at these clusters of newborn stars peeking out from under their blankets of stardust. And if you think that our cosmos is too distant from our daily lives, I want to tell you something. Do you know that at every single moment, we are bathed in a gentle glow, left over from the fire of the Big Bang. This glow was first detected by this odd-shaped antenna, which, by the way, stands a few miles north of here in Homedale, New Jersey. There is much in our cosmos to excite our imagination and to make us wonder. At the largest scale, 
clusters of galaxies. Connect with each other in this vast cosmic web. At the other end of the spectrum, tiny neurons in our brains also connect to each other in a strikingly similar fashion. The universe is now calling upon us to connect the members of the human species in a similar way, to create a single global brain that can collectively serve all of humanity. The next time you gaze at the stars in the sky, think about their role in our creation story. Every single atom in our body was created inside a star. And it is through them that we are connected to the original source of our creation. We are truly the children of the Big Bang, to whom a 14 billion year journey, a story in fact, has just been revealed. It is now up to us to write the next chapter of that story. Thank you.